Ian Patrick here. Welcome back for another classic review. And tonight's film is a cla very well known. It's Red Dust. It came out in 1932. It was directed by Victor Fleming, the great man himself, who directed Gone with the Wind, countless other Hollywood classics. And it also stars the king of Hollywood, Clark Gable. Also, Jean Harlow is in it. She is the leading female role. And Mary Astor is in it as well. She has a pretty significant role. It's a love triangle movie, of course. Uh, Gene Raymond is in it. And Donald Crisp has a tiny little role, but it's always worth noting Donald Crisp when he's in a movie. So, Red Dust is... Now, it's worth noting at the start that Mogambo would come out about 21 years later and they're both the same story so if you've seen Mogambo then it's the same story as Red Dust and amazingly Clark Gable would be in both movies playing the same character um, in Mogambo Grace Kelly basically has the role that Mary Astor has and Ava Gardner has the role that Jean Harlow has and personally, I enjoy Mogambo more, but Red Dust, Red Dust is pretty amazing. Clark Gable, he plays the, the head of an Indochina rubber plantation. And it's quite interesting because we actually see in, during the movie how rubber is made. There's a little scene where it shows that. Jean Harlow, she plays a woman who's on the roll or on the run from the police over there. So she gets on a steamboat and happens to come upon Gable's plantation and she ends up having to stay there for a while because it's storm season. Um, Mary Astor and her husband, Jean Raymond, they come over to this plantation. To, uh, Jean Raymond, his character, he's going to work on this plantation for Clark Gable and his wife is, of course, Mary Astor. Now this is the second par this is the second movie in which Clark Gable and and Gene Harlow would be in together. It would be the second out of six. So that's they've been in quite a bit of movies. Uh, they definitely worked well together. And Gene Harlow's character was originally going to be given to Greta Garbo. That ended up not working out. And honestly, I think Gene Harlow was made for this role. Uh, Mary Astor's character was originally going to be Joan Crawford, and the reason they didn't give the role to Joan Crawford is because they were trying to break up the affair that Clark Gable and Joan Crawford were having together. The, the studio was trying to end this affair that they were having. Now, during filming of Red Dust... Gene Harlow's husband, he was a produ famous producer, Paul Byrne, actually committed suicide. And there's actually a lot of controversy around it, but because he committed suicide, it halted the project a little bit. Sh Sh Gene Harlow didn't show up on set for about 10 days, but they were still able to get the film done on time. So let's get a little bit more into the plot. I already mentioned they're on an Indochina rubber plantation. And... During the whole movie, basically, Jean Harlow's character, she's so in love with Clark Gable, but he is just not too into her because she's this she's this tramp. She's, in fact, a prostitute. And Mary Astor, when she comes over to the plantation with her husband, she is just the complete opposite of, of Jean Harlow. And Gable's just so attracted to this innocent woman, this innocent type of woman, completely different from Harlow. And he doesn't he doesn't care at all that Mary Astor is married. Basically, the entire movie is Clark Gable trying to <laughs> trying to get um, Mary Astor to fall in love with him, and. He's kind of a rotten guy for doing it. In fact, he sends away Gene Raymond on on an expedition for a month just so he can stay there and <laughs> and basically win Mary Astor's heart. 
and it's very dramatic how he, this whole movie and I don't want to give away the ending but it's a love triangle film set in Indochina and we get a lot of that Clark Gable machismo um, he's the alpha male basically he's always the alpha male always you know threatening to slap a woman around um, but it's a great movie um, overall yeah it's a fantastic movie it, like I said it gives insight into the early days and the rubber trade which I thought was fascinating Gene Harlow was amazing playing this trampy but you know real nice girl um, she really has that hometown girl look to her and um, I think one of the biggest differences between Red Dust and Mogambo is is like in Mogambo Ava Gardner is just beautiful and also Grace Kelly is very pretty and in that movie there's not much contrast between the two or, or at least I didn't think there was much contrast whereas in Red Dust Mary Astor and Jean Harlow are like polar opposites <laughs> which made the movie very interesting um, Red Dust was, was a pre-code movie there are a lot of very risque things in the movie uh, Harlow was half naked basically the entire movie um, I do want to share some I have so many good pictures from this movie Okay, this one is from Gene Harlow's movie books, but just a lot of scenes from the movie. She sure did love Clark Gable, but he just didn't really give her the time of day. And here's a picture of Aster and Jean Harlow. And just looking at the two, I mean, Aster's a blonde shell bomb. And I mean, Harlow is a blonde shell bomb and bombshell blonde. That's hard to say, but completely different. And then there's one more right there. Um, and I also have... even more amazing pictures in Clark Gable's book. Okay, there's the famous scene. In this scene, Jean Harlow, she's taking a bath and they're drinking water. It's in this big barrel. She's taking a bath completely naked and Clark Gable comes in and basically says, what are you doing? And get out of there and dunks her into the water. But there's that Sorry, there's that scene. There's all everybody together at the table. And I love this. Okay. This is the climax of the movie. I won't give it away though. You can probably figure it out just from the picture though. But I do have a little interesting thing to read about that uh, barrel scene when she's in the water. During filming of the famous rain barrel sequence, Jean Harlow reportedly stood up topless and called out something along the lines of, One for the boys in the lab. Director Victor Fleming quickly removed the film from the camera to prevent any footage from reaching the black market. <laughs> yep, you can totally see Jean Harlow doing something like that. And let's see, another interesting thing in another book that I have is that um, after Byrne's death, Jean Harlow's husband who committed suicide, um, Mayer had taken Harlow off red dust. She had requested this um, out of respect for her late husband. In fact, it was the Hayes office who deemed it inappropriate for a recently bereaved widow to be seen portraying 
a woman of easy virtue who enjoys open air bathing. Well, Jean Harlow ended up being the the leading woman in the movie anyways, and it's a good thing she was because she was fantastic. I'm going to give this movie three and a half stars. Um, almost perfect. Definitely worth watching. It's one of the great Victor Fleming films, I would say. Um, the movie was a pretty big success. It made $400,000 that year. And... Like I said, I do prefer Mogambo, maybe because I saw Mogambo before this movie. Um, I also am a huge fan of Ava Gardner, and I'm a sucker for Hemingway-ish movies. <laughs> it's set in Africa, and I love Hemingway-ish films just like that. Um, but anyways, have a good night, guys. I hope you enjoy Red Dust. Definitely, it's worth seeing. See ya.